this whole workout is just going to be a push, a pull, and the legs every minute on the minute. So hopefully you can see the time. I sort of moved, it, moved the uh, camera so you can see. So yeah, every minute as soon as it hits zero, we're going to go. We're going to do a push exercise for a certain amount of reps. Have rest when the next minute starts. We'll do a pull, and then the last one we'll do legs. So it's going to get. I'm going to get tougher and tougher as we go. So I'm going to start assisted. So I'm going to do fairly easy angle T-Rex rows, fairly easy angle, or maybe just light shoulder press, just something as long as I'm pushing. Um, and then probably just some box squats to start. So high rep to start with. As I get heavier and heavier, you guys might need to, like I say, just carry on with the high rep stuff or switch it out to some single leg stuff. I'll talk you through that when we get to it. Ready, so three, two, one, here we go. So I'm gonna do some rows. If you got dumbbells, row with some dumbbells or a kettlebell. Here we go. I'm gonna try to go for the whole minute to start with. So if you got real light dumbbells, or a kettlebell. Try to see, maybe so you can see the timer. So that's half a minute if you need to switch arms if you're doing one arm kettlebells. So it should be nice and easy, lightweight to start with. Light resistance band or something is also good. Start to burn. Near in a minute. Three, two. One shoulder press. So I'm going to light the dumbbells now. Light shoulder press. Nice wide angle. That's in line with the torso. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking as much. Like I said, a bit of workout for me today. I've been throwing heavy weights around for a bit. I'm missing it. So I'm going to have a go. Burn. I'm 30 seconds in, it doesn't have to be the whole minute. You've got resistance bands or heavier weights. You can also do press ups off your knees, something, just something easy. I'll do these, so 15 seconds rest before squats for me. Uh, so I could either do T Rex squats or I can just do them sat on the bench. I'll do the first set sat on the bench when it hits zero. And uh, there it is. Cross oh, like blinding me off the car there. Look at the ground. You can see it like hit my face. So I'm just getting the legs warm, not too low. This is the box on my second highest setting, which is 20 inches, 50 centimeters. So we're going really high rep for the warm up. Nice and easy. If you need to stop, stop. You just want to get that burn. So we've got a little while to go. That should do me 10 seconds breather. Just to catch my breath. We're going to go back to rows now. I'm going to make the angle a bit steeper, just by putting my feet a bit closer. Here we go. That's 20 seconds gone. Keep it going, keep it going, at least 30. Well done, there's 30, so stop there, everyone. Whatever your own, or swap, swap arms if you didn't want them. Woo! So that was a bit tougher, I'm going to have 20 second dress this time. <laughs> the feet are a fair bit closer. Now, squats, so I'm just going to, more for mobility's sake than anything else, use these to assist me just in getting super low. Otherwise, I'll fall over or my calves won't let me lean forward enough. So, Low as we can now, so we're just getting a shot on my arse or back in my head. Just 
trying to loosen off your hips, get as low as you can. I'm holding it there for a second, pulling myself into it. Like I said, more from a bit of this one, getting my legs on fire. Plenty of legs to come. Stretches. 
for me, so if you want to skip this bit, skip this bit. But, um, it would be good for you just to get some of the on the go. So I'm going to use a band, let it pull me around, stretch here, and back down. Nice and steady through it. general leg mobility warm up that I um, or dynamic stretch even that I do just it's a little quick routine it takes I don't know maybe two to five minutes so I tend to do it with a lot of my PC sessions um, I do it with all my own leg days every single one um, minus the ones recently that I've been filming for you <laughs> but um, normally so this is a me day I need this my legs don't feel right without it so I'm going for it. So essentially I'm tapping this, attaching this up there. You can probably just do it lying down on the floor, just yanking your leg in and out of tightness um, and pulling it back down with your glutes. So I'll check it up there and talk you through it, it's easier. Oh. Right. So this band is tough as well. So not only am I getting a stretch, but it's a lot of effort pulling it back down with whatever muscle is being worked. Let's get that. Oh, that doesn't look like it's gonna snap. Go. So, foot in it, right in the middle of your foot. If you've got a branch or whatever, you can do this off at home. Right around the middle of your foot. So already it's there one to like yank me up. But um, I'll go groin first, so you can see. I'll come over here a little bit. So stretch groin, holding on to something up sideways, squeeze it back down, and then back up. Two. Go for ten reps and then switching leg. Uh, sorry, I'm switching the hamstrings. Four. Getting higher and higher every time. So about that high this time. Trying to get a bit higher. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, hamstrings next, so just straight forward. I'm going to open the door because it's in the way. I've also got a ton of dumbbells in the way, but never mind. Hamstrings, so as high as you can. If you're lying on the floor, let it go as high as you can, and then keep it tight with your arms, pull it back down using your glutes. And you can do the same pulling it out to the side when you're lying down. But this is way easier and way better, really. So four. Five, six, seven, try to kick nice and high, eight, nine, and squeeze down with your glute, ten. Uh, glutes now, so glutes going almost cross legged and then pulling it back down. So just, this is getting your hip socket and just loosen it up. My hips are always tight, always, partly because I'm flat footed, and then just sheer amount of basketball. PT and stuff, and if I'm honest, lack of stretching. No, no one ever does enough, but I don't do enough the amount of exercise I do. Especially basketball. Come home at like 10.30 at night, or later. Just want to eat and go to bed. Eat, shower, bed. And then suffer the next day. And work out. But this helps, right? That's at least 10. Next leg, so just wiggle your other foot inside the band. Don't take it off and then put it back on. Just change feet in the band. And then, so yeah, start with groin, so side kicks. Kick it out to the side, high as you can. Three, four, dogs about to come in and try to work out in the, just coming back from his walk. Six, seven, Hello! Hey! Hey gorgeous! Yeah! 
I did say you'd be here. Did you have a nice walk? Did you? Yeah. Well, then, here's some food. Lost count, let's say eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, then glutes again. So sitting cross legged. Trying to get that movement in your hip. Stretching your glutes a little bit and then working them on the way down, squeezing tight as you stand. You're going to be standing normal when you do this. At the bottom of the rep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I missed hamstrings. Nine, ten. Left hamstring. One, two, Three, this side's tighter, so I'm gonna go for 15 reps on this side. Five, six, squeeze that glute all the way down, seven, hamstring tight at the top, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So immediately feeling that working way more this side because I'm going to 15, 13, 14. Sometimes it takes like 15 to 20 reps with a band to really feel how much you're working. But it is activating, it's activating the glutes, activating hamstrings, loosening my hips. Best dynamic stretches you can do, in my opinion, to band up high, doing them for legs anyway. Okay, so get that out of the way. So for pull, um, actually I should have left that out there. I was going to say, I'm going to, again, try and get tougher and tougher. So I'm going to start assisted pull ups. If you've got a branch, you can just pull the band down or you could do seated row or some sort of heavier row with a bar, that sort of thing. But starting to get tough now, so just make it tougher, whether it's attaching the band around something and compared to the warm up, if you've been here for the warm up, try and get a bit further back and now you're going for 10 stupidly tough reps, that sort of thing. Okay, so right, enough, enough about you guys right now. Let's turn this up. I'm gonna get cracking once I tied this up. Don't know why I pulled that down anyway. So I'm gonna go assisted pull ups first, just to sort of again get the right active muscles activated. I don't want to fatigue at all, so I'm gonna stop quite early on this one. You guys feel free to carry on. I'm just saving myself for the heavy stuff later on. So, I'm going to both feet in. Whoop. Whoop. Two, I didn't start the time on my bad. Three, four, five, six, we'll do it. So, just starting to get fatigued, just finding that difficult point. Oh. Okay, so I'll start a bit early, but on the minute next time, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick with shoulders and go shoulder press. I might get the bench involved and swap after a couple sets, or three maybe. So yeah, let's, let's do three sets. Three sets, getting tougher on pull-ups, getting tougher on shoulder press, and I'm gonna try and squat with that weight, or lunge, maybe lunge with it, because it's a bit, a bit easy squatting weight in shoulder press, so let's move that time a bit closer. Which you can't now see. I'll turn it down a smidge. Oh, you can see it, you can see it. Go on. Oh, okay, so. Risk of getting caught in there, but never mind. It's coming down. Next round, anyway. Actually, let's do it now. Yeah, no, I don't need that. Warm up pull ups are done, warm up shoulder press. Here we go, and then I'll do some lunges with it. One, two, three. So again, to a difficult point. Not necessarily just reps. Reps are pointless in my eyes. It all depends on the weight and what level of fatigue you are. So I'm just starting to find it difficult. I don't know what I'm on, maybe near 10. Yeah, one more. So yeah, any, any more than that. And I've been struggling to not get that up, but 
maybe four or five more reps I had in me then, that sort of level of exertion. So that's 70%. <clears throat> 70% toughness on that, how are we doing? I'll go in on the minute on this minute, just over level. And I'll go for, I'm going to start with squats. I'm going to start with squats and then go into some lunges. So I probably could have got to 20, I think that was 17. But again, I'm just trying to get to like 70, 80% of my max amount of reps on each weight at the moment. And then when the weight's on, I'll do as many as I can because you get to a point where the rep just won't happen. Having said that, dangerous on legs without a spotter. <clears throat> If you're on the spot when this is all over, you want to have a go at some strength stuff, lifting big weights. Me and Gemma prefer the start of training. Um, if you want to have a go at it, see what it's all about, hit me up on my other PC. Anyway, so I'm going to have a whole minute off. You don't have to, you can go straight back in, push pull legs, go high reps. So if you want to go like up to 20, 30 reps and just go straight in. You should be absolutely dying. And again, tough for press ups. So you can go, all, if you're doing the just all body weight version of this, <clears throat> go to just all normal press ups. Remember the pull ups we did the other day live on Zoom? So you do partner pull ups and shoulder press. That could be your, your push and your pull. Or you could do the one where you drag yourself along the floor. Let me show you that one because it's funny if you haven't seen it. So if you wanted to have a go by yourself, you've actually got to use quite a lot of chest because you're digging your hands like into the ground, but I haven't tried on this floor, so I might not mind that's how we go. So dig your hands in and pull up. My knees are stopping me because they're skin showing. <laughs> but yeah, it's up. So you could do that for your pull if you want. Have a go at that. Anyway, where were we? Yeah, I'm gonna go on the minute on five. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah, pull-ups. So pull-ups is the one I haven't done. So without it getting difficult, I'm gonna just guess four, but let's have a go. So just chuck that back up a bit. A bit more. That'll do. Yeah, four, nice. Nice and easy. Any, I can normally go to like 10 to 15 if I'm really pushing it, if I'm on it, and have been doing lots of perks lately, which I haven't. Then yeah, at the moment, 10 would probably be my max of just body weight pull-ups. <clears throat> but I'd rather just have a go at some heavy ones. So I'm gonna try attach some bands or something, some weights, just hold it at my feet just to make it tougher. <clears throat> okay, right, so, fresh minute coming up. I'm gonna go for lunges this time, just because I realise I don't have time to put plates on for shoulder press. So I'm gonna go lunges. And here we go, so you can go lunges as well if you want. Let's 
So still not really difficult. Just warming up further. Get my body used to a bit of weight. <clears throat> yeah, 10 seconds. I'm going to get these plates on. Some shoulder press. So we're going to go straight into the next set of three. If you can't see the timer, it's now. So a push, a pull, a legs. If you want, you can swap any one of those out for more legs, more push. Get creative with it. I'll do sort of with the timer. There she blows. Okay. I feel like this might hit. Okay, right, we're good. Lunges. Or shoulder press. Shoulder press. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Maybe add five more every there. Again, I'm saving, saving myself for the heavy set. If you're only carrying going, if you're doing one hand, then the other, keep doing it. I need to go straight into lunges because it took a while. seconds and then into pulls. So I'm just going to go straight in. I'm going to try and just go a couple more reps this time. So eight. Or six even. I did four, didn't I? Three. Four. We're getting tough now. Five. Six. Okay, I need to swap these for ten to Keep going, keep going, keep going. If you're not fed up with being get, get just as a workout, feel free to ditch it and just carry on. Well, this weight changer is going to probably put me out of time. Got a little bit. And that's us 40 seconds over time. I'll restart it every three minutes, how about that? That'd be easy for me to track. Okay, shoulder press. So now this is going to get tough. No way I'm doing 10 easy reps. One, two, three, four. I've got one more. Five. So by me saying I've got one more, I mean I've got one more really solid rep. Any more than that, I probably could have dragged out too. <clears throat> As for lunges, still fairly easy. This should make it a bit tougher on one leg. <clears throat> so yeah, 15 seconds and then back in. Well done if you carried on going this whole time and you're doing body weight stuff. You can also do some jumping now as we're getting tougher. We're going to do jumping lunges, stuff like that. So five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And lunge. Five. Next. 
That was a pull and push on the legs, so 20 seconds remaining. I'm gonna have an extra minute rest. So if you haven't had like a whole minute off yet, now would be a good time. So I'm gonna let it run for a whole extra minute. And then I'll restart so we're at three, so we can see what we're doing. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so now it's getting tough. Next one, seated, I can probably do the 15s, which is why I'm going to bring the bench in for the next set. So I can do chest press or shoulders weaker than chest. So if needs be, I can keep the weight on for legs and go down on the bench, get a bit more chest involved. <clears throat> cool. How are we doing? 20 seconds still. Sorry, I'm not supposed to get 15s on. Ignore me. Have more rest. Have more rest. I haven't even had a drink yet. I need a drink. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Chuck fives on top. So kilo wise, bars 20. And now plates, 30 total. So 50 kilo lunges. Getting as low as I can, big steps backwards. Half part's the balance. And then once you're down there, the way up. Okay, shoulder press as well. This is gonna be horrendous. As for this, sorry, I was gonna try weighted. So let me have a go. And make shifting a kettlebell holder. Um, so, gonna wrap it, get the band, put it through the kettlebell, then through itself. So once it's through the through the handle, through itself like that. Pull. Okay, and then I need to do the same thing to myself. This is where it gets confusing. So now, treat this as a just brand new band. There just happens to be a kettlebell on it. So, put it around yourself, like that, putting the kettlebell through the band. Then you go watch the jewels. Okay, so don't swing around too much. I'll try and have the band on the pillar as well. Okay. Oh yeah, don't bounce either. Okay, right. I would say I'm risking it all for YouTube, but this is for me as well. Oh. So, wish me luck. And we'll get cracking again. So now we're looking at the toughest or second toughest press up you can do. The second toughest leg, so jumping lunges, something like that, jump squats for as much of the minute as possible. A few reps before failure, call it quits. And then a pull, or if you substitute it, pull is probably the hardest thing to do at home, but if you've got a band or a cowbell or something, fill up shopping bag, <clears throat> then you're good. Okay, so let's go. Song's finished, let's do it. Right. See what we did. Oh, bounced. One, two, three, four. That's pretty much it. I don't think I would have got another rep if I did. It would have been a horrible one. Okay, rest of the minute rest. If you're doing just pulls with the band nice and easy, keep it going. Oh, me. I'm going to get some water, 30 seconds. Shoulders. One. Two. Three. Four. So the last one was a 
struggle. Three solid ones, one grindy one. Oh, sorry, 28 seconds left. Sorry, now it's 28 seconds left. Oh, right. Seconds, sorry, I'm just struggling now. <coughs> Lunges in now. <laughs> Ready? Very good. I might do one leg at a time. So it's three this leg, one the other, four, five. Six, just helps me get to a rhythm doing that. One. Two. I'm going straight back the way you came, if you see what I mean. Just makes it easier. Five, even. Six, we've got that first one. Oh, wait. Six by leg. So I had some live. Just felt a bit wobbly. <coughs> Okay, right. Pull ups. Realistically, I'm probably not going to get many if I go up and get well. I could do negatives and get more, but if it's tough going up, doing the way up, the concentric part, so we start if you haven't. I just know this is only going to say four reps, so I'm dragging it out. Getting tough, I'm gonna have a minute in between. So, this next one, I'm gonna keep the weight the same. The shoulder press still will be in the struggle, so I'm gonna chuck the bench in just so I'm stable. Part of the trouble is when I'm doing a shoulder press, is my core is wobbling around on my feet and stuff, <clears throat> and I'm breathing heavy. It's just easier sat down having that stable base to push. Let me sort that out. Oh, we've got that rest. Extra rest. Okay, so you're going to swap type of press up. Again. Side to side, it's narrow. Something like that. Go for it. I think this is too high. I also don't know what I'm going to do for legs. I might go to just flat bench, swap to the bench. It's just easier than moving it all about. Okay, let's see if I'm long enough for this. Sorry, I'm going to restart if you're already going. Oh, a little bit too high. I have to move it down a couple. So on that height I can get in for squats. Stable base with your shoulders. Hands similar to where you do a press up, maybe slightly narrower, and then up and go. Down. One, way easier. Two, three, four, five. 
side. Six, left elbow feels weird. Seven. Eight. Just felt a bit twangy. Felt like there was a bit of tendon just twanging about over this. Near my funny bone. Oh. Okay, so pull again. Going back to body weight now. Holly, because I found I'm doing a few more sets of this. For legs now. I think I'm going to save my legs just because we're going to do at least two, maybe three times of forest fitness this week. And it's been a while since I've gone heavy, even if it was just a few lunges. <clears throat> I was going to squat, wasn't I? Okay, I'll squat. So I flew into the pull-ups then, gave myself a bit more rest, which is good because now I can squat. I'm just going to straddle this so it's almost a sumo, which feels weird, I'm not used to that. That's not good. That'll do. That'll do what the time says. Feels really high. Two. Three. Slightly wider for Sumo. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and in. So yeah, ten easy reps. Just something I don't do that often normally. It's properly heavy weighted Sumos. I say heavy, ten was easy. Waiting too much. <clears throat> I think I just need a minute in between. <laughs> in between each set of three now. <clears throat> well, not working out myself. I don't. Because it's heavier, <clears throat> your work breaks harder. I'm dripping in sweat as if I've been doing a cardio session. I don't know if you can. You see that? You can maybe see the sweat. Yeah, there you go, in the light. All the way down. It starts right up here. You'll probably see that. <clears throat> so yeah, I need, I need the rest. My lungs need it as well. Otherwise you're going to be there, gasping for air, trying to lift something heavy and end up hurting yourself. So yeah, important. So your muscles recover, the nervous system as well needs Time to recover, otherwise it just won't switch on the muscle fibers. And you'll be there stuck with the weight on top of you. Speaking of which, let's see if that happens this round. <clears throat> so I should have gone. My bad, I'll reset. <laughs> and then, I think I'm going to keep it the same. Just because my tricep felt weird. Just the left one in there. Otherwise I'd be doing 20, maybe up to 25 on the flat, each side. <clears throat> I can normally do 30 each side, but I have, I've just been doing press ups lately. Anyway, so toughest, toughest you can do. <clears throat> we'll maybe only do one or two more now. So three, two, one, here we go. Tough as you can do, as many reps as you can, so no stopping short this round. Single base, in your back, and go. Feeling better this round. 11, hence some more reps. 12, okay, now I want to go up. Now it doesn't feel weird. 
We're gonna go out on the next round. I might do it for the squats as well, actually. Okay, go, go, go. You know, it's the time again when I don't think, yeah, it's about to go. So I'm just gonna put some of these off, chapter 20 on. Just doing chest press again. I'll do one more round of squats as well. Legs still feeling pretty good. Pull ups, getting there. Chest, again, potentially slightly regretting this for next round. Let's give it a go. Sumos for now. Apologies, you'll probably have to start the next set while I've been faffing with that. If not, enjoy the rest, you're welcome. Easy still. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not used to the sumo position though. Feeling it in my groin. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And in. Okay, pull ups. We're pulling. Oh, right. Knackering. Ready. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, one more for up. Okay, so another round done. If you're resting this minute, I'm going to join you for one more, I'll start one more round. And just have a go at some incline chest press on this, which could be interesting with lack of rest. And absolutely blowing. Right. Whew. So oh yeah, time is here. It's probably gone. So there we go. Slapping myself up. So I readjusted my hands. For those of you who thought I was being trangled. Three, it's still feeling weird. One more. Four, okay, maybe not. That was the lot though. Cool. The previous set, Mac and me, when I was 12. Okay, so that's me done. If you're going to carry on, carry on, I'm going to have a stretch after I've just recovered. Oh, I have missed that. Love bench press and love, love incline, love pull-ups and love weight squats, but I feel slightly unsatisfied with my weight squats today. So I might, depending on how my legs are feeling, do maybe do similar next week, but just for squats. So while I'm doing really heavy weight squats, everyone else can do uh, anything, anything else. <laughs> I, just, I just want my fix, if I'm honest. I want my fix of weight squats. 
Right. So for the stretching, for the legs at least, in fact I can do pretty much my whole upper body, just with this resistance band, up there. Do my whole body even, not just upper body, so upper body and lower legs, similar to what we were doing, just static stretches. Those of you who know, who have been in and had a PT, you can just jump straight into it, or <clears throat> I'll talk you through while I'm doing it, how to just do it on the, on the floor with the resistance band as well. So, nice chunks and stuff out of the way. So, if I wasn't dripping before, I really am now. Yep. Cool. It happened to open this door. Got the old greenhouse effect going on as well, just somehow. So, yeah, for your legs, you're going to stretch your legs. Resistance band, chuck it over, put it through itself. And then, legging, this is such a lazy way to stretch as well. If you're a lazy person like me, it's just the nicest, easiest way to stretch your legs. It's usually like rolling around on the floor doing yoga positions. So, hamstring, just let it sit there. If it's too easy, lean forward, try and keep your posture really good. As you lean forward, what will happen is your leg's going to go down as your hamstring gets tight to a point where the band isn't going to stop it anymore or so put it back up. You see that? Me leaning forward, just stretching it further and that's going to pull the band tighter to stretch your hamstring more, if you see what I mean. So, just lean into it, if you're not getting any stretch, try and keep that posture good. Similar to this one when you're on the ground like that, just having the band helps, because like I say, you can't, you can't injure yourself, the, the band is going to give way before your hamstring does. Unless you've really ruined it doing that workout, in which case I'm sorry. <laughs> but it should be fun. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, groin now. So groin's always interesting. Oh. Especially if there's stuff in the way of your feet. Oh, come on. So let out nice and slowly. You're going to almost tense your groin, put it back down to the ground before you even let it go and then slowly let it up. I should have emphasised that at the beginning, but apologies if you've been flattening your ass by this. So again, really good one. And if you want to make it more of a stretch, shuffle away from it. Do a bit of a splits with the other, your other leg, and that way you've got both hips putting on one groin. Look, I'm getting the stretch actually, I'm feeling this in my ground leg as well. But yeah, alternatively, you can shuffle your hips the other way. And what that'll do is just pull on this leg more. I think around this actually is making it tighter too. So I'm going to make it longer that myself. Okay, now I'm going to try that. Glutes, so sitting cross legged again, stretching piriformis deep in here. If you need to over the grab your heel, and just pull it up, or you can grab the top of your leg. So grab this way over, grab the top, and just lean. Helps having a bar to hold on to, but if you don't, you just gotta maybe grab your knee or the band and just fold over. Trying to keep your back straight. As soon as you curl your back, make it easier on your hip. Okay, and then top of your other leg. So, hamstring first. And just let it hang. You can do this for minutes and minutes if you want. Sometimes I'll just leave this up so every time I go to the bathroom I can 
whip it around and stretch my hamstring. It's not necessarily as good as something like a Jefferson curl, one off the box where you like curl your back and roll down and really stretch your hamstrings with a weight. But it's a similar thing, instead of a weight, it's just resistance from the mat. So yeah, I'm trying to keep my posture really good. I'm trying not to curl, I'm trying not to lean back with it. As soon as you lean back, it's just like you're standing again, you're opening this angle. You want to keep this angle tight and short between your torso and your quad. You want to keep your posture real good, if anything, overly straight. And like I said, you can fold over into it, not curl, fold over from your hips. This one's a bit tighter on me, my left. Naturally, again, a bit tighter, and it's partly because I'm flat footed on this side. Something I'm also trying to work on. Fixing that and the years of abuse it's got whilst being flat. Okay, groin, if you haven't done groin, did we do We didn't do groin. And yeah, you can just let it hang. Just trying to get your, either your hips away from the band and get it inside that way or take a big step and almost do the splits. Need something to hold on to though. You can go from that straight into hip flexors as well. So that's just a, a massive step away from the band and it's, you can't really see but my knee, so it's part of the other one that's there but it's pulling it right back and then I'm just pushing my hips forwards not a good one really but so, so if you're on the floor so if you've been watching this like Pete what the hell am I supposed to do on the floor <laughs> then I'm trying to get into similar positions so if you're on the floor with this you'd have to grab the band like, like roll down wrap it around your foot wrap it over your shoulder lying on your front pull pull your knee behind you you could even wrap it around your knee and pull your knee up rather than just your foot. And yeah, for groin, you just gotta sort of wrestle with it on the ground and pull it up to the side. Cool. That was good, I'm gonna do that with my other hip flexor because I didn't do it that side. So big step. If my knee was here, I'm letting it go back and then I'm pushing forwards and not with my back. I'm not just like shrugging my shoulders back and pushing my belly this way. I'm trying to push my hips this way. And then you get a real pull right down here. And your quad, feeling this all the way down from here to my knees. So that's probably my rectus femoris, which is a hip flexor. It's also responsible for bending and strengthening of the knee. So use that as a knee, bending and strengthening of the knee. Core right in here. So I keep leaning into it, can do that as well to so open it up, lean over. That's a good one. Okay, so lower body done with the band. Now I'm going to show you how to do upper body. Um, if you just sit at home and you don't have something up here, you can have a branch, then get it over and stretch your upper body like that. If you've got something you can attach it to, you can probably do this like on your knees, attaching around a banister or a door handle or something as well, but just trying to stretch your chest out, just pull them forwards, let it pull your arm behind you, and you're trying to keep everything, shoulders, hips, square, or even past square. And then just that elbow slightly bent. I feel like I need to push my hips up sideways just because of the angle. Normally you could just lean. I need to open up sideways a bit. Now I'm getting it right across there. So keep toying around the angle until you find it. Okay, so same hand and back. So you want to over your head and then you want to get this area. So you're coming almost sideways away from the band, wherever it is, and you're going that way, letting the band pull over that way. And then just leaning into it, you stretch all down here, stretch your lats after all those pulls. So. <laughs> 
Hello, Otis. You tired? You tired? Dog's here, he looks lost. Oh. Oh, right. So, other side. Chest first. Slight bend at the elbow. Try around that angle. I think something to hold on to here, really, but... If you're struggling, just grab the door frame. I'm gonna call it quits. And to the end there. Yeah, so grab a door frame, wall, anything, slight bend in the elbow, and you wanna push up this way with your chest. And around with your back shoulder. Said should be around the banister or door handle if it's tough enough. And just lean further into it. Again, the band should stop a certain amount of. Um, no, the band's going to give way before your muscle. So keep pushing until you really feel it. And then ease off. Cool. And done. Done, done, done. If you want to do any extra stretches, Quads, probably a good one if you were doing like jump squats and stuff in that. Just notice we're over an hour now, so done, done, done. Warm up, main session, no finisher, but I don't think we need one today. Um, yeah, well done. And I'll see you tomorrow for a live one.